Hello everyone, I'm Narc Survivor. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about when a narcissist will leave you alone for good. Please give the video a thumbs up down below. Hit subscribe and click all notifications to be notified when I upload a new video. And if you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me, just go to my website. It is narcsurvivor.co.uk When will a narcissist leave you alone for good? You may be done with a narcissist, but they're not finished with you. So you may be wondering when they will finally leave you alone for good. And it really depends on how the relationship ended, because they may be experiencing bitterness and resentment, so they may be seeking revenge. And when a narcissist is seeking revenge, it typically goes on for a very long time. Some narcissists may want instant gratification. They may want to hurt you immediately. Even if it's for something you haven't even done wrong. It may be just for a perceived slight or injury. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong to them. But narcissists have a fragile ego so they often misperceive people and situations and then they will want instant revenge they will want to hurt you immediately because they feel hurt so now they want to hurt you even though you might not have done anything wrong to them they perceive that you did something wrong they read the situation wrong because they have faulty judgment and reasoning and they get angry very easily. They perceive that they have been treated unjustly or that you have acted dishonestly towards them. So then they try to harm you. They try to cause pain to you. They want to make you feel worse than they feel because they have so much rage. They cannot control their anger. You could break up with them in a way where your motives and justifications behind your actions are based on morally and ethically accepted principles and logical reasoning. But because you broke up with them, it hurts them so much that now they want to cause you pain because they cannot rationalize or justify your actions when they're angry. When they're angry, it's all about themselves. It's all about what they need to do to make you feel the way that they do, to regulate their fragile self-esteem and to make themselves feel important again. So now, they want to hurt you in any way that they can. They want to see you suffer. They want to see you cry. They want to see you in deep and immeasurable pain because you rejected them. So in their minds, you ruined the reputation, even if you didn't expose them. They will still try to hurt you and ruin your reputation just because you hurt their feelings. And some of them can do this for a very long time. They can take their time seeking revenge. They can wait for years after you've both already moved on and you're both in a new relationship. And then out of the blue, they may start creating fake accounts. They may start stalking you. They may try to hurt you. Because all of those years ago, they felt like you hurt and humiliated them. And then all of a sudden they pop up again. And it's like no matter what you do, they won't leave you alone. They will never leave you alone. Unless you get the law involved. But some of them will even break laws to get to you. Because their revenge and their feelings are that important to them. So even if you get the law involved, it may just anger them even more. And then they will really want to ruin your life. They will really want to hurt you in any possible way. And they will never leave you alone. Even if they're married and they have children, they, they may still come after you. They may even stalk you from another country. Because when they feel like someone has acted unjustly or dishonestly towards them, they will seek revenge. And even if they feel like they've reciprocated the level of energy and emotions 
that was put out to them, they still won't leave you alone. Even if they think justice has already been served, it still won't be enough for a narcissist. Because this is all going on in their minds. They have an inability to regulate themselves, so they blow things out of proportion. They overthink and they overanalyze things until it drives them insane. They idealize people and situations, so then they feel like they have to take you down a notch. And they become dependent on it. They become addicted to hurting you. It becomes a lifestyle to them. It becomes a means for them to get by. Which is why they will continuously seek revenge. And they won't even tell you what you did wrong. Because they don't want you to make it right. They want to bask in those feelings of vigilance and victimhood. They revel in it and make the most of it. Because they take pleasure in it, they enjoy it. Which is why they will extend its duration. They will draw it out for as long as possible. Because they get off in it. So they will do it over and over again. They will be all over you like a rash. They will give you an excessive amount of attention. Because they're insatiable. They can't get enough of it. Which is why they will break laws and they will behave impulsively and recklessly. They will act without thinking carefully. They will make a lot of mistakes and behave foolishly. Because they feel like they've struck gold. They feel like they've hit a gold mine with you. It may be the first time in their lives that they've ever had such an opportunity just to let it all out. So of course they're just going to want to do it again and again. They're going to want to purge it all out onto you. They will want to rid themselves of their unwanted qualities, condition and feelings and just dump it onto you in a very abrupt and violent way. Because they want to rid themselves of their own impurities. They want to cleanse themselves of their negative emotions. But if you try to talk, to talk to them about it, you won't get any sense out of them. They will deny it. They will act like they don't know what you're talking about. Because it brings up a lot of shame when they're being confronted. So then they've got to deflect it. They can only behave this way by disconnecting from themselves. By objecting them, objectifying themselves and by objectifying you. They cannot do that if they have to acknowledge you as a separate being or if they have to be held accountable for their, for their actions because then they will be on their P's and Q's but they will wait it out. There is no cut-off point for their vengeance. Sometimes they will leave you alone once they see that you're not responding the same way anymore but other times you will have to force them to leave you alone. You will have to fight them off of you. And even if you do use their own distasteful tactics against them, that may just make them even more mad. And then they will come after you even more. So you just have to force them to leave you alone. Like how violent prisoners or mental patients have to be restrained with a straitjacket. You have to impose severely restrictive measures on them to restrict their freedom of harmful actions or expressions. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate to paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you all for watching and I'll talk to you soon.